Hi, welcome back. This is going to be eighth lecture in the series on linear maps. In the last lecture, we introduced the notion of ordered basis in a pan-dimensional vector space and showed how we can set up a very natural linear isomorphism from the vector space into some Rn where n is the dimension of the vector space using the ordered basis. It is a very important case. Okay. And the vector in Rn which is associated with the vector B in the vector space is called the set of coordinates or system of coordinates. Okay. I hope all of you have gone through. Please go through it. At least in the first half of that video, it will be very, very useful for future. All right. So today we are going to talk about how to associate a matrix for a linear map. After we make a choice of ordered basis, both on the domain and another on the co-domain. Okay. So let us start with that. Let's start sharing the screen and explain. Yeah. So what we have is two pan-dimensional vector spaces B and W. And let us fix a basis, ordered basis V1, V2, Vm of V. Notice that this is ordered basis. And similarly, B dash of W1 to Wn of W. Again, it's an ordered basis. That means V1 is the first vector, V2 is the second vector, and so on. All right. Now suppose F is a linear map from V to W. All right. What? Now start with the basic vector. You know that we already know that if F is a linear map, I know it completely as soon as you know what your VIs are. Right. Once I know these things, I know what is F that we have seen earlier. So it's very natural to understand what happens to f of vi. That's going to be a vector in w, right? But then we have on w an ordered basis b dash. Therefore, I can write, express f of vi as a linear combination of vectors from b dash. That's what we want to do first. So let us write f of vi equal to a Okay, please note the way I write the index. It's not the standard way algebra teachers will write. A1i w1 plus a2i w2 plus dot 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 a n i w n. So it's short and summation notation. I will write it as a. Notice that it is going to be a j i w j j is running from o to n standard algebraic way would be like this many algebra teachers will write it as a i j w j j equal to one to n okay but i am writing a j i w j you will see the reason there is nothing wrong you can stick to whichever you want but i prefer this okay now notice that what this means Okay, therefore, uh, do you remember coordinate maps? Okay, now W1 to Wn is a set of ordered bases for W and I have written this vector F of Vi as A1i W1, A2i W2, Ani Wn. Therefore, I have just, these, quad, these coordinates are nothing other than, that is, if you write it as a column vector, A1i, A2i, Ani, this is a vector in R and C, assuming it's a vector space over R. Okay. This is nothing other than F of VI with respect to B dash. Right? Notice that this, F, the, this vector is defined by this. Okay. This is from the last lecture on coordinate maps. You understand this? Yes. Now we are ready for the matrix. Okay. Therefore, the matrix of F relative to uh, the ordered basis B and B dash. I will not keep saying ordered basis. Okay. 
is denoted by f okay and b and b dash this means b is a ordered base of the domain b dash is the ordered base of codomain with respect to which i is a matrix and this matrix okay what is the ith column ith column is this f of v i b dash that is ith column is a1i a2i ani therefore what is the matrix therefore the matrix f b b dash is so i have to write f of v1 as a first column what is that that is going to be a11 a21 a n1 okay and what is the second column what is i jth column it will be a1j a2j a n j what is that now what, how many columns are there m column because v1 v2 v m therefore i have to stop at a 1m a 2m and a n m okay and this is nothing other than f of v j with respect to the basis b dash this column the jth column <coughs> okay this column is nothing other than this vector you understand that's why we are writing this so in other words i can write this as your pop v1 this is matrix your pop v1 with respect to the basis b dash your pop v2 with respect to the basis b dash and so on your pop bm with respect to the basis b dash so this is what kind of a matrix it's a n cross m matrix because each one of them how many rows are there n rows what is n n is the dimension of the codomain n is the dimension of the codomain and how many columns are there f of v1 f of v2 f of vm each one of them contribute a column right so there are how many columns are there m columns what is m m is the dimension of the domain do you see therefore this is an incat this is dimension of codomain cross dimension of domain type matrix okay so please pause review and then proceed p or p this is a very simple thing but it's better to <coughs> sorry it's better to understand it okay so some simple minded examples okay before we look at it little more closely with the theory etc especially second year bc students should get used to this way of looking at right so let us look at a very simple minded thing so first example <coughs> suppose my v is r2 and with the standard basis v1 v2 this is the standard basis v1 is 1 comma 0 v2 is 0 comma 1 okay i'm not going to change and w is r3 <coughs> okay maybe make it r4 and b dash is let me call it w1 w2 w3 and w4 and again these are standard ordered bases so what is w3 for example w3 will be 0 0 1 and 0 yeah okay now i want to define a map f from b to w how do i define so take x y okay notice that this x y what does it stand for it stands for x v1 plus y v2 this is going to be let me make life easy x y okay x plus y and x minus y <clears throat> okay we you know this is a linear map do you recall why this is a linear map because each of the coordinate functions 
x y going to x, x y going to y, x y going to x plus y, x y going to x minus 3y. These are all first degree polynomials with the zero constant term. We have seen, okay, from Rm to Rm, we know what are all the linear maps. So these are the linear maps. So if you want, you should verify. Now I want to write down the matrix. So without writing, what should be the matrix size? Can you tell me? It should be a matrix of size four cross two. The type of this matrix must be four by two. You understand? Because four must be the dimension of the codomain. Okay, let us do that. So to do that, I have to write down the column. You should think of only as a column. Okay, what is the column? Let us look at the first basic vector and write it in terms of this. Now, what is the first basic vector? First basic vector is one zero. That is X is one. Y is zero. Therefore, I have to simply substitute here. That is going to be one, zero, one, and one. Do you understand this? This is going to be one, zero, one, and one. Let me just make sure I'm writing it correctly. Yeah. Right? But what is this? This is going to be one times W1 plus zero times W2 and one times W3 plus one times W4. In fact, you should be able to write very quickly by looking at what I will do will be I look at this, the coefficients of x in this. This is 1, 0, 1, 1. So I will write it as a first column. Therefore, the first column of the matrix is going to be 1, 0, 1, 1. And let's look at f of v2. f of v2. Now let us try again. What should I do? I should write down the coefficient of y. Right? You can also substitute x equal to 0, y equal to 1, but just to, by looking at, by inspection, you should be able to write. That will be easier, right? This is going to be, can you guess? This is coefficient of, this is 0. Coefficient of y here is 1. Coefficient of y here is 1. Here it is minus 1. So that is a matrix. You understand that? Therefore, that is going to be, I would write it as a column vector. Pardon me, I wrote it as Thing around. Therefore, the matrix is this. This is the matrix f of v, v, v dot. Yeah, you understand this? Okay. Now notice that we kept insisting ordered basis. Why should I write this? Uh, why should I say it's an ordered basis? Because I should know what goes in the first column. What goes in the first column is the image of the first basic vector V1 under the function F, under the linear map F. That is F of V1, its coordinates are the one which constitute the first column. You understand? So if I change V1 and V2, the order changes, it may become something else. Let us have a look at. Okay. Suppose instead, let me get a B1. Okay. This is B1 is V2 and V1. Okay, that is my call it u1 and u2, where u1 is v2 and u2 is v1. Therefore, my x, y, what will it be? This is the vector. This vector is x, v1 plus y, v2. Okay, this is with respect to the standard basis v1, v2. Now I change the basis. Okay, the, and this is what x v1 but what this is x u2 plus y u1 therefore this vector where does it go to it goes to yx because u1 should go first and u2 should go second therefore it's okay you understand this that is the coordinates associated to b for the vector is xy and the coordinates of the same vector with respect to B1 is Y comma X. This we had already seen in coordinate maps. Okay. You should not be confused. But what I want to do is this. So this is my B1. Now I, what do I want to do? I want to look at the matrix of F with respect to B1 and B dash. This is what, okay. If you want, ignore, ignore this part but consider on this, right? 
for this what should i do it should be the first column that is f of u1 okay and what should i do i should express in terms of b dash that's the first column and second column will be f of u2 and break it into b dash you understand this okay if you are getting confused don't worry what is f of u1 u1 is go back what is u1 u1 is 0 comma 1 <coughs> you understand this yeah okay so 0 comma 1 where did it go see notice that my function f of x y is with respect to this x y right therefore where will be f of u1 this is 0 comma 1 this is the x coordinate this is the y coordinate with respect to this okay don't get confused please bear with me this is f of u1 which is going to be okay whatever your f of u2 went right what is my u1 it is 0 comma 1 therefore i have to substitute 0 comma 1 0 1 1 minus 1 so this is going to be 0 1 1 minus 1 and what is f of u2 that is going to be what is u2 u2 is going to be your v1 that is 1 comma 0 1 comma 0 will go to 1 0 1 1 so it's going to be 1 0 1 1 therefore what is the matrix the matrix is f of matrix with respect to the ordered basis b1 on the domain b dash on the codomain it's going to be 0 1 1 minus 1 and 1 0 1 and 1 okay compare these two matrices 1 0 0 1 and that becomes a second and this this is not surprising why because i interchange b1 and b2 as u1 and u2 therefore the base of the first column will be f of b2 f of b2 is this and f of u1 is f of v2 and with respect to w1 w2 i have not changed it you understand okay pause review if you are a beginner it may be a bit confusing but go through it because i am looking at very simple example so that you can really cut your teeth into this okay so it will be much easier if you learn this better here okay I, now i can also uh, do something else but it may be confusing for a, a while so let me just stick to some other example do a second example i'll come back to it a little later if necessary do you remember we consider the set of complex numbers as a vector space over r and dimension of c as a real vector space is 2 and what was the ordered basis we took ordered basis we took was 1 comma so 1 comma i you fix one of the square roots of minus 1 call it i then 1 comma i therefore any complex number z is x times 1 plus y times i okay complex number is x plus i y how will i write it as in terms of linear combination of basic vectors i will write it as x times y 1 plus y plus i we had already seen these things all right okay now fix a complex number lambda which is a plus i b where a and b are real numbers okay we had already seen the map f of z which is lambda times z this is the product of complex number this is a linear map okay we had already seen this okay if you want you can again check i want now this is a linear map from c to c and i have the ordered basis one comma i both in the domain and the codomain i keep the same ordered basis right this is b this is also equal to b dash now what do i want is what is the matrix representation for of f so what do you think i should do let's go back the what should be the first column first column should be image of the first vector basic vector here that is f of one and then what should i do take f of one write it as a linear combination of the 
ordered basis on the codomain. There also it is one comma y, right? Therefore, what is f of one? F of one is f plus i b. So how will I write it as in terms of ordered basis b dash? It is a times one plus b times i. Therefore, what should be the first column? First column will be a comma b. You understood this? Next, what should I do? I should look at the second basic vector in the ordered basis of the domain f of i. Where does it go to? It goes to a plus i b times i. This is a product of complex numbers. This is minus b plus a i. Right? How will I write it? Minus b times one plus a times i. Yeah. Therefore, the what goes as a second column? The coefficients in this expression, right? That is minus b a. Notice that f of one and its coordinate in terms of b dash is a b and f of i. Its coordinate representation under b dash is minus b a therefore it goes to this so this is the matrix representation of this okay notice that this is a two dimensional space this is a two dimensional space therefore i should get a two cross two matrix right as a matrix for f so i got it okay pause review and proceed Let us look at another simple example, the same thing from C to C. Now let us look at f of z equal to the complex number conjugate f of z bar. Therefore, where will f of 1 will go? Will go to 1. Where will f of i go? Minus, minus i. This is 1 times 1 plus 0 times i. This is 0 times 1 plus minus 1 times i. Therefore, what are the coordinate representation for this? 1 comma 0 and for this it is 0 comma minus 1 therefore matrix representation with respect to b and b dash for this is 1 0 0 minus 1 yeah do you understand this right Now let's look at a fourth pass, review, and proceed. Now suppose F is a linear map from R and to R it is a linear. Such linear maps are called linear functionals. Okay, when the codomain is one dimensional, any linear map from R into R will be called linear function. It's not only linear, the codomain is one dimensional, codomain is actually the field over which R, the vector space is defined. That is F from B to F, where F is the field of scalars for the vector space B. Such linear map is called linear functional. Okay, now what do I want to do? Now notice that before going any further, what is the co-dimension? What is the dimension of co-domain? One. What is the dimension of the domain? N. Therefore, the matrix of F with respect to any ordered basis should be of type one cross n. What is one cross n? That is same as saying I can think of as a row vector also. Right? N cross one, I will think of as a column vector. One cross n, you will think of a row vector. You understand? I want to know what it is. Now let's go. This is very easy. So we will take B, the standard basis, E1, E2, EN. Okay, this is a standard ordered base of RN. For B dash, there is an obvious basis namely consisting of 1. Right? Okay. Now I want to know what is F of B, B dash. What should I do? I have to look at what is F of E1 f of v1 will be some number call it alpha 1 okay therefore i can write this alpha 1 times 1 and similarly f of u to en you understand now therefore what should go as a thing you understand this 
and f of e i equal to alpha i which is alpha i times 1 right therefore the first column will be alpha 1 second column will be alpha 2 nth column will be alpha n but what is alpha 1 f of e1 f of e2 and f of en okay so this is a one cross n matrix do you remember when we dealt with linear maps from rn to rn we said any linear map f is defined by is of the form f of x equal to alpha 1 x1 plus alpha n x n what are alpha i f of e i so we got it yeah you understand this okay have you understood all these things you are sure okay now let me look at a, a different example this is a fifth example possibly i'm doing a lot of very simple minded examples so that you should become very very confident because i have seen students even after coming to msc are unable to write a matrix of a linear map okay i just want you to get used to that okay right now let's do a very simple minded thing now suppose i have here a linear map from r2 to r2 but for b the basis for the domain i will choose the standard basis e1 e2 okay and for the co-domain i will choose the basis e1 plus e2 that is 1 comma 1 and other basis e1 minus e2 this is 1 minus 1 you understand right and i will define f of x y equal to let us say x plus y x minus y or let me make it okay uh, let us make it slightly more difficult 2x this make a kind of cause a lot more problem for me because i would keep solving equation so i will avoid okay now what i want to do is i want to do two things okay for domain and co-domain let me keep b as the ordered basis then what is the matrix of this okay and and for the domain i'll keep b as the ordered basis for the co-domain i will take b dash as the ordered basis then what is the matrix representation of b f okay these are the two things i want to look at now yeah okay let us do that so what so let us look at this first this is case one this is case two so case one is what looking so what is the first column first column is f of e1 i have to find out what is f of e1 that you can see is one comma one remember i said x is y1 y is zero but i can do a sh short turn faster way look at the coefficient of x and write it x is one x is one therefore one the, okay this transfer therefore the first column is going to be one comma one okay what is f of e2 f of e2 is going to be the e2 is what zero comma one therefore zero one zero minus one minus one but you can also see the coefficient of y that is going to be one and minus one therefore one and minus one this is the matrix of f with respect to p b okay make sure you understand this now let's look at with respect to second what is f of e1 it is 1 comma 1 but 1 comma 1 is e1 plus e2 and that is your w1 that is a new basis right okay this is my w1 this is my w2 you understand therefore this is going to be 1 times w1 plus 0 times w2 therefore the first column vector is going to be 1 comma 0 for this matrix and let me look at f of e2 because remember the basis for the domain is still b therefore i have to look only with respect to b okay this is going to be 
again e2 that means i have to look at the coefficient of y which is 1 comma minus 1 you understand therefore it's going to be 1 comma minus 1 that is e1 minus e2 which is your w2 therefore this is going to be 0 times w1 plus 1 times w2 therefore it's going to be 0 1 therefore the matrix for of f with respect to b but to b dash is the identity matrix okay so pause review and proceed please take your time do not be in a hurry go slow work out these examples okay now let's look at the sixth example okay let us look at b to be pn that is polynomials with the real coefficients of degree less than or equal to n and w equal to pn minus 1 so we have a very natural basis for b and w so for the domain we will choose the basis 1 x x squared and x power n because remember it's n plus one dimensional and for b dash exactly the same one x but then up to x to the power n minus one okay therefore and suppose any i have a linear map from b to w the matrix with respect to b and b dash what type it will be it will be n cross n plus one remember dimension of the co-domain times dimension of the domain right anyway so the linear map you want to consider from u to w is a very interesting linear map which all of you had already seen the linear map is the derivation that is if you give me p of x equal to let us say c naught plus c1 x c2 x squared plus c n x power n then p dash x will be c1 plus 2c2x plus 3c3x squared plus n cn x power n minus 1. Therefore, this belongs to w because it's of degree at most n minus 1, right? And we know this is a linear map because of the derivative properties, all right? So, this is a linear map. I want to know what is the sorry what is the matrix of d differentiation with respect to the ordered basis b and b dash okay actually you can write it very quickly okay you should try without thinking look at that look at the first basic vector where does it go to d of that that is the derivative of the constant one that is zero Therefore, it goes, the first column will be 0, 0, 0, 0. Now, look at the second basic vector, x. And apply the map D. What is it? D of x. That is derivative of x. That is 1. What is 1? 1 is the first basic vector of in B dash. Therefore, it will be 1 times 1 plus 0 times x plus 0 times x power n minus 1. Therefore, where does it go to? 1, 0, 0, 0. Now, let's look at the second the third basic vector, third basic vector is x squared. When I applied the linear map D, namely differentiation, what do I get? I get 2x, but I would write 2x as a linear combination of vectors from B dash. What is it? It is going to be the first basic vector is 1 and second basic vector is x. Therefore, it's 2 times the second basic vector. Therefore, it should be 0 times sorry not 0 times 2 0 2 and after that 0 0 0 okay this is the first this one this is where x goes to this is where x squared goes to now i have to look at what x power n goes to x power n derivative will be n into x power n minus 1 but that's the last element here therefore that will be 0 0 and 0 and n Right, this is 0 times 1, 0 times x, 0 times x squared, 0 times x to the power n minus 2, and n times x, x power n minus 1. You follow that? So you can see 
This is the matrix. Okay. You can write it very nicely if you want. Try to write that. Okay. But there is something very interesting. Okay. I will think consider a new problem. Okay. Suppose seven. Now V and W are both P N. My linear map D is from V to V. Right. And now bases are this. And bases are the same for the domain and codomain, namely one x, x power n. Okay. Therefore, matrix representation of D with respect to B B dash will be an n plus one cross n plus one matrix. Okay. Go to the last example. What is the type? Okay. This is n. Okay. N rows and n plus one column. This is right. This is the column corresponding to one. This is the column corresponding to x. This is the column corresponding to x power n. Therefore, there are n plus one columns. Therefore, this is a matrix of type n cross n plus one. Whereas it's the same thing. Remember, if I take any polynomial of degree less than or equal to n, its derivative will be d a polynomial of degree less than or equal to n minus one, and hence it's also a polynomial of degree less than or equal to n. Therefore, d maps b to v. There is no problem with that. You understand? Okay. So I want to know what this is. Now, how will I do that? Argue the same way. So look at d of one and fill it in. That is going to be zero, zero, zero. Let us take n equal to four so that you can see what is happening. Okay. Right? D of one is zero. Therefore, there will be five. Okay, I have one x, x power four. There are five elements. Then d of x, d of x will be one. Therefore, it is of zero times the first one. Therefore, it is one and zero 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 zero. Right, and d of x squared will be two x, but that is two times the second base vector in the codomain. Therefore, it is going to be zero two zero zero zero. And what is d of x cube? That is three x squared, but that is three times one two. The third base vector. Therefore, it's going to be zero zero three zero zero. And next, I would look at d of x power four. That is four into x cube, but that is going to be yeah zero. One, two, three, four. I have done right. Yeah, zero, 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 four, zero. So this is a five cross five matrix. Yeah. What do you think I have done? Try to understand. Look at this matrix. Look at the same thing here. When n equal to four, what would I have done? So there should be a zero here. I forgot. Yeah. Yeah. I am adding a zero here, right? See here for n equal to four, in the earlier case the matrix would have been zero zero zero. Remember, this is going to be three, okay? Right? This is four, and it will be three. There, okay? This is a four-dimensional space. Therefore, only four zeros. And next one will be one zero zero zero. Next one will be zero two zero zero. Next one will be zero zero three. Any equal to four, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm doing correctly. <laughs> I get it. Okay. So this is the this is one. This is x. This x squared. Oh, sorry. Yeah, x squared. Yeah, x. This is x cube. Then I have to do x power four. X power four will be zero, 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 four. So this is the matrix. Yeah. So this is a, a four cross five matrix. This is a five cross five matrix. Now. Okay. Yeah, now they are almost near 
you can see both of them in the single shot. Okay, maybe I can shrink it a bit. Let me see whether I can shrink it. Yeah. Now do you see that? Except the last row I made it zero zero zero. There nothing else changed. So it's just exactly similar matrix. Okay, right. So before I stop, let me look at one more example. Okay. Yeah. Now suppose yeah, if the identity matrix B equal to W R equal and F is the identity. Okay. Now fix any basis B, okay, ordered basis for the domain and the codomain, the same basis B equal to B dash, okay, ordered basis. And F is identity. I want to know what is the matrix of identity. Yeah, you, is that clear to you? F is here. From U to V identity matrix, F of V is B. I want to know what it is. Yeah, let's look at. So let B equal to V1 to Vn be the ordered basis. Then what is F of V1? It is V1. But what is the B dash? In B dash, it is 1 times V1 plus 0 times V2 plus 0 times Vn. Therefore, what is the first column? First column will be 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. And what is F of V2? It is V2. But that is with respect to, I would write as a linear combination in terms of V dash. That is 0 times V1 plus 1 times V2 plus 0 times V3, etc. Therefore, it is going to be 0, 1, 0, 0. And what will be F of Vn? That is Vn. That is 0 times V1 plus 0 times V2 plus 0 times Vn minus 1 plus 1 times Vn. Therefore, it is 0, 0, 0, 1. This is 1. Therefore, this is nothing other than identity matrix. In Mn over the field R R. What is interesting here? Think carefully. What is interesting here? The interesting thing is B could be any ordered basis, right? Then keep the same ordered basis for the codomain also. Then with respect to any choice of ordered basis, the matrix of identity matrix is, as identity linear map is the identity matrix. You understood that? So I don't care what B is, okay? But it is always turns out to be identity matrix. Yeah, but then you, now comes the next thing. Suppose the same thing, F is identity map from V to V, but my B, now I choose a B dash, which is different. So this is for ordered basis for the domain, domain. This is ordered basis for the codomain. Okay, B dash mean need not be equal to B, need not be. You understood? Then I want to know what is F with respect to, what is the matrix representation of F with respect to this? Choice of ordered basis B and B dash. B for the domain, B dash for the codomain. Can you guess what it is? You'll be very surprised. So this is identity map for B and B dash equal to what? Okay, that is very, very interesting. Let us look at, so let V B equal to V1 to Vn, B dash equal to W1 to Wn. Then I ought to look, what is the first column of this? You look at F of V1 and write it as a linear combination of B dash and the coefficients form the first column, right? 
that is same as saying look at this and b dash you understand that is f of u1 you remember how will i write it a11 w1 plus a21 w2 plus a n1 w n therefore the first column will be a11 a21 a n1 but notice that this is this first column is nothing other than the core coordinate representation of the vector f of v1 in b dash are you following right and similarly what will be f of vi that will be a 1 i let me call it j so that you know f of vj okay v1 okay a 2 j v sorry w w1 w2 plus f of n j w n therefore the jth column will be this okay therefore jth column is going to be f of vj with respect to b dash right therefore identity map with respect to b b dash is the matrix f of v1 with respect to b dash f of v2 with respect to b dash and f of vn with respect to b dash this but notice that this was by our definition the transition matrix r b dash b from the ordered basis b dash to b okay you can challenge a lot of your seniors and etc this will be very interesting you understood that if i take the identity matrix but keep the same ordered basis for the domain and co domain i don't care what was your ordered basis the only condition i need is for the domain and co domain i use the same ordered basis then i found the matrix representation of identity map is the identity matrix yeah but you for domain i use a ordered basis for co domain i use another ordered basis b dash okay then the matrix representation of the identity linear map with respect to b b dash is nothing other than the transition matrix from going that is from going from the coordinate system afforded by b dash to the coordinate system afforded by associated with b this we have seen it okay please go through and enjoy okay if you want i will just look at a very simple ex example and with that i will stop we had already done that possibly as a very typical example again let us look at the simplest case the standard basis here e1 e2 and this is the co domain w and for b dash i choose the basis e1 plus e2 and e1 minus u2 that is my w1 w2 right now f is identity matrix identity map from r2 to r2 then i have to write f of e1 what is f of e1 i have to write it in terms of w1 that is half times w1 plus half times W two right because then u one plus u two u one minus u two add two u one therefore half will give me therefore the coordinate is going to be one half half and what is f of u two u two I have to get that is u one plus u two minus half this therefore half of w one minus half of w two therefore is half minus half so this is the matrix of identity. With respect to the choice of basis B and B dash, in the coordinate thing we had already seen this. Okay, pause, review, proceed. Okay, I hope you all enjoyed, and please go through. I have chosen very simple-minded example, but which are theoretical also more significant as you go along. Okay, learn this art well. Okay, you will thank yourself and me later as you go along. Okay, I hope all of you enjoy.
review at least once or twice and write some arbitrary maps like f of x, y, z equal to something 5x minus 3y plus 2z, x plus y minus z, minus 2x plus 5y plus z or some sort of thing. Try to write down linear, okay, the matrix representation with respect to standard basis to start with. Okay, do not get confused with our other basis. Okay, learn that kind of well. Try and look at any book. They will always give lots of such examples. Try one or two, but go through this at least once again. Okay, understanding once is not enough. You have to do it yourself so that you will feel confident. Okay, all the best.